Good day and warm welcome. I'm Betty Caleb from Paddock Community Specialist Hospital. Today, we are truly honoured to have our former cardiologist, Dr. Ko Chan Singh, who is going to share very much from his heart on memoirs of the doctor. A very extraordinary journey he has shared from his heart. Let us find out more about Dr. Ko. Dr. Ko, please share with us how you started your career as a cardiologist. Good morning. I am honoured to be here for this interview with, uh, with you. My journey started in 1977. I graduated from University of Malaya, Kuala Lumpur in 1977. I completed postgraduate training in internal medicine in the University of Malaya in 1983. In the same year, I also obtained MRCP UK from London. In 1987, I joined KPJ EPO Special Physician. In 1989 and in 1991, I was a clinical fellow in cardiology in the Royal North Shore Hospital in Sydney. And in, in, the, in 2001, I left Malaysia. I was a cardiology fellow in Wellington Hospital, New Zealand. In the year 2003, I returned to Malaysia and joined PCSH, Para Community Specialist Hospital, Hospital as a cardiologist and physician until 2020 when I retired from medical practice. Oh, yeah. Fascinating. Let's summarize my journey. Hey, good, good. I think we want to get even up close and personal. Can you share with us who is your hero? Uh, cardiology training is an apprenticeship. Huh? And in the course of my training, I worked under many consultants. In Malaysia, is Professor Singham. He was professor of cardiology in University Hospital. He is now migrated to Australia. My other heroes of the profession, my other heroes of cardiology are Dr. De Silva and Dr. Matt Sis from New Zealand. They were very dedicated, passionate, motivated, ethical, and good role model. They mentored, taught, and gave me tips and tricks of the trade. There are many others which I will be too long to mention. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Ko. So I believe these uh, persons influenced you and made you what you are today. Okay, now let us know a little bit more. What are your biggest fears and how do you you overcome these fears? There are many fears, not just one as a father, there are many fears. Uh, but one of the fear, one of the big, biggest fear, I may say, uh, was, was uh, not being able to keep up with professional skills, knowledge, and advancement. Uh. Cardiology is a very fast changing field knowledge, skills, procedures, changes every few years. So a, a cardiologist can be left behind and not able to practice safely if he did not keep up with the new knowledge and he did not acquire new skills. So to keep up with recent advances, I participated in international, regional, and local conferences several times a year. 
at least six six major constraints uh, every year. There are other fears, uh, but these these are maybe biggest fears. Right, right. So, what motivated you to work hard in this medical journey? Medical practice is a calling. Uh, it is it's not a career. It is not a nine to five pm job. Huh? It is a twenty four hours job. Life as a cardiologist in private practice in Malaysia is actually very tough. It's actually very tough. In those days, I was on call twenty four hours a day. Seven days a week, three hundred and sixty-five days a year. So anytime my mobile phone will ring, so and ask me to see so and so. So my social life also was affected. After many years, I was burnt out. I was burnt out and exhausted. Patients will come in for treatment. In the A and E, at odd hours of the day, very often I will be awake from one a.m. to four a.m. attending to a heart attack patient. This resulted in sleep deprivation and personal stress. But my motivation to work hard comes from my passion, my calling, my interest. My life philosophy and my faith in God as a Christian. So it is all this, ah, huh? all these factors that enable me, enable me through the years. Truly important, truly important to help you be where you are today. Being always motivated. All right, let's. Let's know a little bit more better. What is your favorite part about your career? Was interesting, and now, how did over the years you have practiced before you retired? You practice at PCSH. How do you feel about the transformation of PCSH? Okay, well, for the first part, no, for the first part. Uh, the favorite, the favorite part of my career is to be able. To Help the sick people and restore them to health. But not everyone will recover. Some recover completely. Some recover, but requires lifelong medication, and and some do not make it at all. So. so But by the grace of God, I was he- able to help those who are sick in their times of need. I also made friends with many of my patients through the many years of practice. I I remember how I have one patient whom I treated in 1987. For a heart attack in the Ipoh Specialist Centre in 1987, uh, um, when he was admitted in 1987, his wife was carrying a baby in in, in her arms. In 2019, uh, this patient was still seeing me as my patient. Now he, he has already recovered. Uh, he was continuing on the medicine, but he followed me. Ah, huh? even though I left several hospitals, several countries, came back, but but he he found me and he continued to see me. Huh? I asked him what happened to the baby. Ah, huh? he uh, he told me the baby is forty two years old. The baby came to the clinic. At one time, the baby came to me. I told the baby, "Ah, huh, when your when your dad was admitted, you are only a baby." 
uh, this this patient is still in the is still a patient of Para Community Specialist Hospital under the new cardiologist Doctor Min Seng Long. Yeah, still, still there, still seeing Doctor Min Seng Long. Stories like that keep me going my work. Yeah. Yeah, these are very enriching story, lah. Very uplifting story. There were also other patients who had cardiac arrest, resuscitated, treated successfully, underwent open heart surgery, and they were doing well. After more than thirty years, they are doing well, and they are, they are still coming back to see me. You know? In my practice, I I pass I pass on this patient to Doctor Min Seng Long. I told Doctor Min, you 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 take you take care of them. I take care of them. Continue, huh? continue the medicine that I give them. Huh?